As people in Florida try to put Ian behind them, many in the Carolinas are bracing for the impact. This is a live look at the battery in Charleston, an area known to flood even when it's not dealing with a hurricane. Vanessa Rufus went to Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, about 10 miles from Charleston, and discovered how they're preparing for Ian. Good evening from Mount Pleasant, just outside of Charleston. We're on the water here and we're definitely feeling the breeze pick up from what we were seeing earlier in the day. The rain has started and we know throughout the week, South Carolina cities and towns have been preparing for Ian's arrival in Charleston County. We actually know that some shelters have opened and while no evacuations have been ordered, we are seeing officials encouraging folks in low lying areas and on barrier islands to head to higher ground and stay there. Meantime, DOT has been spending the week cleaning cleaning out long lying ditches and picking up debris, as well as preparing folks for the very real possibility of bridge closures should sustained wind speeds get high enough. And of course, sandback operations. Those have been underway for a couple days now. In fact, we caught up with some folks getting those last sandbags filled in preparation for Ian. The water can do a lot of damage, especially during the flood. If it comes all the way up from the boat landing all the way up to Scandaville, you know, it can do a whole lot of damage for people. We've never been in a hurricane before, so we didn't know what to expect. So we had to go to the grocery store, like buy stuff just in case, because we don't know if we're going to be locked in, if we're going to lose power or what. So um, we also filled the tub with water just in case. And I don't know, it's kind of an experience. And officials are preparing folks for the potential of major flooding, saying that if folks do have to be out on the roadways to not try to move through standing water as only just a few inches can actually carry a car away. But they say preferably people should be staying home. Of course, we'll be monitoring the conditions and we'll be back with updates in the morning for Wake Up Charlotte. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, just outside of Charleston, Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte. Sounding the alarm in South Carolina. You can see more of Vanessa's reports tomorrow morning with Wake Up Charlotte. She'll be reporting live from Charleston starting around 6 in the morning.